Good morning, guys. How are y'all doing this morning? Just having my morning cup of coffee. Headed to the uh, meeting place to meet my helper. We got a new helper today. Not today. He's been with me a few days. But Sam went to take his test in Tulsa. See, in the uh, 798, you have to take a test at the hall if you want to get on the out of work list. So anyway, he'd been practicing, doing all that practicing. If you guys have followed us on our on my channel at all, and uh, he's been practicing a lot. He's going to took his test in Tulsa. Everything went good. He's a welder now. So congratulations, Sam. But yeah, today I'm going to introduce you guys to my helper. What what is up, dude? Oh, I got that cup of joe ready. Huh? Cup of joe. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna get me putting my makeup on? <laughs> I'll put this on, man. My skin's got two speeds: Casper white, and lobster red. Not to interrupt your breakfast there, uh, Josh, a.k.a. Clint. What do you like to go by? <clears throat> Clint or Josh? I've always gone by Clint, but I can go by either. Anytime I start a job, college, schooling, anything, they always call you Josh, Joshua. But anybody that's ever known me goes by my middle name, Clint. So anyway, this is my, this is my new helper, uh, Josh Dunn. Where, where are you from, Josh? Uh, Hot Springs, Arkansas. Hot Springs, Arkansas. How long have you been pipelining? Mm, May 12th last year. About a year, a little over a year. You like it? Oh yeah. Not a bad way of life, is it? No. Not so awesome. far. You like the great outdoors. You know, I'd enjoy camping and cooking over a fire and working on trucks and stuff, so this works out. There you go. Right up my alley. This was so. Quick to get out on the ground and roll up under something, or uh, barrel off into the woods with a hatchet or a saw, or or uh, just a lot of uh, <laughs> adrenaline. You know? Yeah. The quickest way to get a bunch of branches is uh, climb a tree and fall out of it. And you'll bust a bunch of them on the way down, and you just gather them up, drag them over to the fire. I don't think I've ever had a helper that has ate cereal before on the go. <laughs> pretty neat. <laughs> I'll have a pocket full of kale when we get out there. Yeah, Josh has been helping me for about, what, a week now, I guess? Almost. Almost a week, I guess. Has it really been that much time? Yeah, I think so. Almost tomorrow, I think. Wow. Oh, no, maybe Friday. Friday, Saturday. Yeah, I'm sorry. Not quite a week. Anyway, a few days now. My days blur together big time. Getting along good. Um, this is February, right? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> be a little cooler, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. um, I can't believe it's June already. That's crazy. Yeah, that lunch bell, guys, I don't... You guys might see more of that as we... Uh, That's the mystery box. jumped in the truck need a bite to eat I'm gonna wait on another welder to get out here and uh well, Jerry's side was hurting him so he's gonna go see a doctor and uh just gonna eat a bite to eat what's in that lunch pail Clint a concoction for Korea <laughs> what they call the inevitable <laughs> so all you're having is strawberries no I'm having more than the strawberries now tell me this how do you eat an apple do you eat every part of the apple? No. I have before. There's a guy on this job that I know eats the whole apple like a horse.
88 wall weld. It takes a little bit longer than the 740 wall welds that we've been on. Um, golly, that's a lot of welding. I'm glad it's over with. I hope there's not much more of that over here. Headed to the trailer. Got you guys introduced to my new helper. Oh, Josh. His name's Josh, but he goes by Clint. I think his family calls him Clint, but fun guy to be around. Thankful to have him on board. Uh, we'll probably see some more of him in some upcoming videos. I mentioned earlier while we were eating lunch about an apple, and I asked him how he ate an apple. The reason I asked him that was, was because the very first week I was on this job, my truck broke down, and uh, I rode with the guy I tested him with for a couple of days. He took me back and forth to work and I saw him eating an apple. And he ate, he pulled the stem off. It's the only thing he pulled off. And he ate the whole thing, seeds and all. I don't know, he might have spit the seeds out. I don't know, but he ate, he didn't eat around it like a corn cob, you know? How many of you guys eat an apple like that, the whole apple? Do you eat the whole apple or do you eat around it like a corn cob? Let me know in the comments. Okay. Hey guys, so good to see ya. It's late, lost my mind, it's been a long day. What, so what, what do you, what am I supposed to say? Just whatever, we just booked our plane ticket. Yeah, we just booked off some plane ticket, it took him uh, for every new day. I lost an hour of sleep because he couldn't decide what seat he wanted. Oh well, I'll find out if I did good or not. What seat do y'all like when you fly? What's the best seat to have? The window seat or the aisle seat? Everybody knows that. I'm open for whatever. Austin would be one of those people who sat in the middle and just like chatted with people. Kingdom, quit. Just hang out, Bubba. Just be calm. Just love your mom. Kayla don't like that we're wearing matching shirts. I think we look so dumb. <laughs> I think it's so funny. Hi, <laughs> Kingdom boy. So I actually just, it actually, I don't know, I feel like a lot happened today. I just booked, hold on, I just booked uh, my final place to stay. I, <laughs> Corgi hair. I am going to take six days. I'm going to get there on day six, I think. So I'm going to leisurely take a trip out there. I haven't ever done that before, so I'll see how I like it. I'm trying to find a good manageable travel style for me since we're in this phase of trying to figure out how to combine me doing my thing with Austin doing his thing. And with Pipeline Life, the schedule is, I, I was talking about this on Instagram today, I haven't told you yet, but the schedule is so unpredictable. And if I were to wait for Austin's schedule to be predictable, I would never be able to do the stuff that I want to do. And that's essentially what I've done, part of what I've done <clears throat> all these years. And it's not the only reason why, but it's like a big reason why I'm like, oh, I can't make plans. Like I have to be flexible, all this stuff. And so um, we're trying to make this work and it's a year of figuring it out. I've talked about before where if you change anything, it's like chaos because everything you knew and then you add this travel into it and the unpredictability of Austin's thing. What'd you just do? What'd you just do? Pretending I put chapstick on my eyeball. That's what I thought I saw in the corner of my eye. You're literally making my concentration there, be so... Because there's this running joke about me not having any eyebrows. Okay. I'm just trying to figure out because whenever I take these trips like I always have done in the past which is drive straight through even if it's like 20 hours, which I've already told myself I'm definitely not doing that. 17 is like my max. Um, but even whenever I do that, like even a 10 to 17 hour day, by the time I get there, I feel just like poo, poo poo laka. And I need to be able for it not to take a week for me to recover. So if that means that it takes me a week to get there, but I can work along the way and I feel good whenever I get there, then that's more reasonable, not always, but whenever I can, um, to be so I can like keep like a normal schedule, um, like not kill my back and just have to drive forever and ever and ever. So, 
Uh, I'm going to try it out. I'm guessing it's probably going to be too long and I'm going to want to try to do something in between. But I figure this is a good chance to try it. And uh, this is the year of trying to figure this thing out. I'm sure we won't get it all figured out this year, but <laughs> try to figure out something. That's um, right. It's gotta hard to... Gotta yeah. start somewhere. Yeah. And we're new to trying to make like my dreams and Austin's dreams work at the same time. You already asked one question about the apple. Mm -hmm. Question of the day. Comment down below. I eat it like a corn cob, but prefer it in slices, like a six-year-old. Oh, I didn't even think about that way. I definitely eat it with like as slices. That's my favorite way. Slices, yeah. Slices is it, the best I way. Either eat it like a corn cob or slices. Slices is the cleanest. Slices is just taste the best. Less stuff gets in your teeth. And if you have a permanent retainer like me, that's what you're supposed to do. Slices all the way. Okay, yep. comment down below. Eat that's the whole thing, I... eat it like a corn cob, prefer it in slices, or maybe you do something else because until like a year ago, I didn't know you could peel a banana from the butt end of it. So you know what? You learn something new all that, the time. That's exactly right. That's my helper was eating uh what? Uh kale? Oh, that's not weird. No, but straight kale out of his plug bag. <laughs> my helper's a trip. Y'all get to see more of him. Just wait and see. Kale straight out of a bag. Yeah, just like a rabbit, just salad with no Did dressing. Did you like it? Yes. No dressing, no nothing. Just I'm just trying to figure out what that would do for you. Like, would it fill you up? Like chewing tobacco. Just, I don't know. Is he trying to quit something? I don't know. Interesting. Okay. There's this, there's this ongoing deal with his lunch pail. He always, he looks in there and he, <laughs> he pulls different stuff out. And he's like, what? And he sniffs it. He's, he's a trip. You'll see. Sniffs his own stuff. Yeah, like some of the stuff's been in there for a while. Congrats to Sam. Sam, if you're still watching. Congratulations, buddy. Congratulations. We're so excited for you. Okay, everybody say hi. What's your new helper's name? Uh, Josh. Say hi to Josh. Say congrats to Sam. And tell us how you like your apples. We'll see you in our next video. We love you. Be grateful. Work hard. And have fun. Bye, guys. Good day. You gotta get the... Is there even any coffee in there or is that for looks? Oh, man. I was going to say kale's a super vegetable or some crap like that. You heard that? Mm-mm. It's got everything broccoli's got but more. Vitamin A, K, E, good source of iron, <laughs> folate, <laughs> B vitamins, mm. a little bit of a, whatever they call laxatives. Make it regular. Good for your intestines. The stems, however, not that great. You'll chew on those for a while. Sometimes I'll chew on with the very bitter. You're not gonna eat that with anything? My fingers. <laughs> yeah, you're just magically make its way to my mouth. I, you know, figured, I figured you're gonna eat it with a salad or something. This is a salad.